Okay, so I look terrible, uh, but I didn't want anything to stop me from making this tonight. So here we go. Um, getting ready for bed and this is what you get. So, okay. So um, I've shared um, with a few of you what I was able to document along my journey after my surgery. And what a lot of you may not know is that I've actually moved when I was 10 weeks post-surgery. So we lived in a small town called Waynesboro, Pennsylvania, and um, we moved to um, Inglewood, Florida. And um, my daughter at the time of the surgery had just turned two. Uh, we actually sold our house in four days, so we were living with my in-laws. And a lot was really happening environmentally. So um, you can imagine, like, you know, I get a lot of um, messages from mom saying, like, you know, can I do this with my kids, X, Y, Z, reasons, yes, you can, because I was living in it, I was going through it, um, so yeah, at about six weeks, um, I could start strengthening, and that was really just as tolerated, which was using, like, very light putty and um, like low resistance rubber bands, like just rubber bands that you use around the house. Um, but range of motion was always key within those first few weeks, especially in my fingers and especially for extension. So extension is going to be bringing the wrist back, extending back. Um, I didn't have much extension before my surgery. Um, I think it was a uh, around I believe it was around 20 to 30 degrees so I didn't have much to begin with um, um, but so when we before we moved to Florida I was still driving with one hand I couldn't lift I couldn't carry a pot or a pan um, I was allowed to be out of my splint but I really didn't have much strength to support my wrist so um, it was very helpful for support um, and preventing the injury if I hit it on my, um, hit it, like I, the biggest thing was I would hit it up against a wall or a door frame walking in and out of a room or my kids would hit it too. So I felt like I needed the splint just to protect it from injury. Um, I definitely wore it at nighttime to prevent my hand going, you know, into like a flex comfortable position. Okay, go play. Um, so my therapist up north, she helped me locate a very well-known um, certified hand therapist near the city that I was moving to in Venice, Florida. And when we finally got settled and I had insurance in place, I could tell my wrist was in, you know, desperate need to get some therapy done. Um, I felt behind with my finger movement. I felt behind with my wrist um, movement. So I'll share a clip here when we first moved and went to Disney for a week. So I'm doing much better with like my fingers. I am a little bit swollen just because the heat being at the parks at Disney. But um, I have a hard time with bringing my hand back. I have, I have a lot of stretches that I have to do going back. And then these two fingers Somehow they're just kind of lagging. They don't want to go as straight. Um, so I do a lot of stretches throughout the day. Right now I'm really stiff because we went to uh, Magic Kingdom all day yesterday, so it was really swollen. But um, overall, my pain has been awesome. I maybe take a Tylenol every now and then before bed, but other than being stiff, I'm pretty satisfied with my pain. And my scar looks awesome from since day one. I don't know if I showed you a picture of it, but um, I have another one going down that way. Ah, kind of hard to show you, but yeah, thanks for asking. Strength was about as strong for me as like a one pound weight. That was pretty much all I could do at this point. My focus was getting my thumb in. Um, so bringing, this was really hard to bring it in and down um, to make a full fist and straightening my first two fingers like you saw in the video. Um, I think the very first time that I was fitted for my splint, um, the therapist was going through my exercises and really forced my fingers down 
and from then on it just those two fingers kind of lagged and um, I had a harder harder time I don't know if it was too much too soon or if maybe I overstretched a muscle or something uh, but for whatever reason and still you can kind of tell a little bit it's kind of hard in a video but like still these two fingers bother me and I have to every now and then I have to push them down and really stretch them this was swollen almost up until like two months ago it was still swollen so um, I would say my turning point was around four months uh, when I could really start tolerating strengthening more swimming um, I noticed a big difference as I got more comfortable I gained confidence to really use it more um, lifting my kids I felt like I could push myself to the point I wasn't going to injure any hardware and at the um, at the end of August I had been doing my therapy one time a week for every other week at this point I was self pay so I really wanted to stretch it out because I, I knew the therapy was really helping I knew how important it was um, it's, it's so different even though I'm a therapist I, I really needed to um, I really needed to have somebody else you know manually holding my hand and stretching it and pushing me um, so so yeah I was going you know one one time a week stretching out as much as much as I could um, paying out of pocket I wasn't seeing much improvement with my wrist extension and supination so supination is just palm up you know think of soup like you're holding soup in your hand so palm up and you can see I don't have much of that now it doesn't hurt but I don't have much range of motion um, so um, I suggested to my therapist to bend my brace um, the, the white splint that I've shown you in my other videos, if you've seen my YouTube videos, um, I suggested to just take the top of the splint part and bend it back to stretch my wrist while I was in it and uh, just do a little small degree each visit in order to get that prolonged stretch. So I was wearing my brace during the day for that reason only, 30 to 45 minutes, um, about twice a day. And then um, sometimes I slept in it to prevent it from bending forward again you know it's all about, like in the beginning it's all about you know um, just either keeping it neutral when you sleep or I really wanted to focus on bringing it back when I slept um, the biggest thing for me is the soreness and the stiffness um, so fast forward to um, I'll be coming up May will be my one year um, stiffness has been my biggest obstacle I still um, feel like it's super important to be stretching, you know, anywhere from four months to now, I feel like stretching is key. That's going to help um, with the range of motion. It's going to help it not feel so sore and stiff. Um, now, I will say that my pain is essentially gone. I mean, I some days I might have like a two or three pain out of ten um, whereas before I I I was above a ten some days like there were some days it would hurt to brush my hair it would hurt to get on my phone and text and um, some days I would have you know tears in my eyes because of how much the pain is and I know you guys can understand that so um, I'm, I'm very grateful for the surgery I feel like it was the right decision um, I, you know, I, I will say that um, there are, have been some lifestyle changes that I would like to get into later on in some videos that have really, really kind of catapulted my um, pain and inflammation. So um, that's kind of a short version of the journey that I had. And um, I'll pick up um, with the next video. If anybody has any specific questions, please feel free to leave comments here. Um, this is what I have as far as range of motion. I can go back about that far. I can go forward about that far. Um, and that's about as much uh, supination and pronation as I have. When I went back for my follow-up, um, at my four-month follow-up, 
My doctor was very pleased. Um, everything was healed, everything was good. He did tell me that I had just the same amount of range of motion as what I did before. So um, he was hoping for 60% more range of motion, uh, but for whatever reason, I just fell upon the same, which is okay because the pain is so much better and that was my primary goal. Um, he, you know, offered for me to come back and see him if I really, really needed to, but as far as, you know, any other surgeries or anything like that, I'll probably just reach out to doctors locally here. Um, me and my husband did fly up to, you know, to go see him and it's, it's, you know, a great, great clinic and um, hand clinic to, to use and I'll definitely reach out to him if I have any questions or concerns or if I need to connect anybody to him I can or will but um, yeah that was pretty pretty much my last goodbye with him so thank you guys for listening and um, I hope this helps some of you